Hello WordPress people, welcome back to my new web series called WordPress Gutenberg and this is a new video for learning WordPress Gutenberg blocks. So in our previous video we talked about understanding of block and block attributes. Now in this video we are going to talk about styles for your blocks. So uh, before jumping into the code here is my local WordPress repo and I created a custom plugin so let me show you that plugin so this is already um, explained in this previous videos so if you are new to this video I would suggest to start watching this playlist from the beginning otherwise if you know what you are doing just keep watching this video so the, here is the BWP search plugin we created and now I'm gonna open I'm gonna add new post and I will add our created block I'm gonna say style for block and I will add our block pwp search hello wordpress so as you can see uh, whenever you type anything in this block it has different uh, text different style text display over here so this is done through styling and if I show you the front part of this block so you will see the same styling over here so how to add this style for the block so that is what we are going to learn in this video so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so for that I'm gonna open my plugin as usual so here is the plugin I created so I'm gonna quickly open the terminal for the plugin and I will run npm start as you already know we have to do this first and when we start now let me show you our main main plugin so this block register through this build folder so if I open this build folder in in the build folder I'm gonna open block dot JSON <coughs> so in this block dot JSON we have this style editor style which is for index uh, for editor which is for this editor whatever we add in this style will apply to editor and another is style which is style index dot CSS whatever we write in this file will apply to this front part of the block but we don't do that inside a build folder so just forget about this build folder I'm gonna open the SRC folder and same block.json so same lines you will see over here so now 
you have this two scss files in the src folder one is editor.scss which is applicable for editing editor style and another one is style.scss so whatever you want to apply for the editor part you have to write css in this editor.scss and whatever you want to apply for the front part of your block you have to add that style into style.scss and npm will handle writing this style into appropriate styles so for example editor.scss goes inside index.css and style.scss goes inside style index.scss and if you can see this editor.css you will see this class already created through our plugin so how do we decide this class so this is simple wp dash block is the default prefix and this part comes from block name so our name is create block so it is create block hyphen bwp search so this is how this class name is uh, interpreted and this is by default come coming from wordpress itself and uh, yeah this is we we added the text field so we add over here input type text and in the style part we just added this class same class wp block create block wp search so this is by default um, any block creates class based on your based on your um, block name so now if i open editor.scss oh uh, sorry um, edit.js and save.js so in the edit.js whatever we see into editor will go inside this edit.css uh, js and whatever we see in the front part will go to the to this um, save.js so here we see this block props which is coming through use block props dot save and this block props we used over here so this block props creates or generates this class automatically so if i open the style.scss so wp block create so wp block is by default and then create block wp search is coming from the block dot json name so now if i can show you now by inspecting this so whenever it saves the data from the block it will use this class so using this class we added this css font family so um, let me first sorry okay now we don't need this edit.js and all so let me comment out everything from this editor okay let's comment comment let's comment this whole style and let's see how it looks
still it is displaying let me refresh this So as you can see all style is gone now it is by default it is looking like this but on the front side it will look like this only because still we haven't apply any so we haven't removed the style from this so let's remove the style from front side as well so now if I refresh this So as you can see now text is coming default text so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply back this to this style over here so this is to give you an idea how the style works so now if I apply this style again for the editor and style from the front for the front part now our style will be back Now let's say I want to change the color of the text added in our block. So what I'm gonna do is I will add CSS for the front part. So I will add color blue and refresh this. So now the color is blue and if I refresh this let's see what happens so it didn't change the color for this block because um, in the editor.scss we have to apply the same color for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add color blue and now if I refresh this it will turn into blue but let's say you again change the color something else let's say red so every time you change the color from here you need to change color here as well but that's not the ideal case instead you can use this color inherit so when you use the, this color inherit it will take the color whatever you add over here so now if I refresh this it will turn into red let's refresh the front part as well so it is now red and this is also red so this is how you can add style for your block I'm not going to show you the very styling stylish block this is just to give you an idea I'm not the CSS guy so I am not able to make things beautiful but yeah if you are front end developer you know the CSS then you will be able to 
make your block look beautiful so yeah revision what we need to do is into the src we have two styles one is editor.scss another one is style.scss editor.scss is for editor part and style.scss for front part and uh, class name is based on the block name so your name will get the prefix called wp block and then the name hyphen converting to the uh, sorry this slash converting to the hyphen so this is how styling of block works if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys